In this video, I will demo how to configure analytics data offload to Splunk in API Connect on AWS. If you don't have an API Connect instance, you can sign up for a 30 day trial in AWS Marketplace. You can just search for IBM API Connect in AWS Marketplace to find the listing. I'll be using a Splunk uh, Cloud trial account for this demo. So let's get started. So this is my uh, API Connect instance on AWS and right now I'm logged into API Manager. To configure offload, uh, go to Analytics menu and click on Offload Settings. Click S4 Confirmation. Now you'll see a offload settings sidebar uh, where you have the option to configure offload to both S3 and Splunk. So we'll select Splunk and you're going to need uh, three details in Splunk offload configuration, which are index name, uh, HEC token, and HEC URI. So HEC is a short form for HTTP event collector. So now we'll see uh, how to create a Splunk index and HEC token and uh, from where we'll get the HEC URI to configure the offload. So this is the Splunk instance which I have. I created it for, a, for the demo purpose. Uh, it's a trial account. To create an index, go to settings, then indices, click on new index, need to give a name for the index so i'll give apic data make sure you select the events and for the max row data size let's give zero and searchable retention as 14. click on save so now the index is created let's copy the index name and place it here so that will be our index. Now, next, we need HEC token. So to create an HEC token, <coughs> sorry, go to settings, data inputs, select HTTP event collector, then click on new token. Let's give a name for the token. So I'll give HEC token and then click next. Now we have to select the index which we created in the previous step. That is APIC data. Click on review and submit. Now you got the token value here. Let's copy it and give it here in the input. The next input which we need is the HEC URI. HEC URI is nothing but the Splunk instance URL itself. So I'll copy from the browser and give it here. And one more thing we have to do in the trial account, we need to append a port number, which is 8066. So this port number, we can see it in the HEC uh, global settings page so if we go to data inputs HCC event collector then global settings here you can see a port number which is mentioned here as 8088 so that is what I give here in the paid paid instance of Splunk you no need to give this uh, port number we just need the URL so we have all the data uh, available then just click on save so the configuration it will take a few seconds to complete so now the analytics offload is configured successfully now all the uh, api calls which are happening now will be offloaded to the splunk index which we created in real time so 
let's see that so i'll go to api manager i'll select one api and invoke it few times so that it generate some analytics data so let's go to the text test tab and click send so now few api calls have been made and the analytics data is also generated and it is pushed to the splunk index in real time so let's see whether we got the data in splunk so for that you can go to the home page of splunk here type the index name index equal to api c data It shows seven events being generated and all the uh, analytics data is now available in the Splunk index. So now in Splunk, uh, we can create uh, dashboards by selecting the fields. Let's say for example, based on status code, we can create a graph. Let's select the chart so now we have a total six api calls made and all are 200 okay so we can create more graphs and we can combine it all together to a dashboard and visualize it so that's how we configure the uh, analytics offload to splunk and that's it thank you thank you so much